G'day, it's Terry Moore from Tactical Medics Group. In video one, we talked about the cat tourniquet and the various facets that make up the cat tourniquet. The reason why we told you about these is so now in the pre-folding stage, I can explain to you the various parts of this cat as we go through that folding uh, process. So the first thing you want to do is you want to grab the friction adapter buckle or so and grab the red tip end. You're going to place the red tip through the inner friction adapter buckle and pull through approximately seven inches and then you're going to secure it down on itself. So from here to here is seven inches in length. I personally like to grab the red tip, fold it up on itself and then fold it back. It will reduce the seven inches to about five and a half but with gross motor skills I can now grab the end of the tourniquet. Placing your windlass with your windlass clip in the downward part, place it in the palm of your hand. You are then going to pull down on your self-adhering band so it's flush with the top of the backing plate. At 4.5 inches you're going to commence your first fold, like so. And you're going to continue the fold so it goes all the way up to where the self-adhering band is now flush with the top of your, back, of your plastic backing plate. And then you're going to naturally make the last turn. When folded correctly, your cat tourniquet should be rectangular in shape and should be flat. Right now, this little uh, cat tourniquet is now ready to go into your ATAC tourniquet retention device. And I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can do that come the next video. I'll see you there.